Good evening. Welcome to St. John's. Well, welcome to Christian Workship here today, the day of Pentecost. I invite you to please stand for our invocation. We begin our service as we do all our worship services in the remembrance of our baptism and our triune God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. all praise be to you, all triune God. The Spirit of the Lord fills the world with God's grace, telling us of our God's love for us through His Son, Jesus. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Ask you to please face the cross as we begin our processional hymn 913. O Holy Spirit, enter in. Hymn 913. We begin with our confession and absolution. 
By the power of the Holy Spirit at work in us, we see our many sins and bring them before you. Lord, have mercy. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we trust in you to forgive our sins because of the death of Jesus for us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we live as the forgiven body of Christ to serve in one another in love. Our Heavenly Father has had mercy on us and given his one and only Son to die for us. As a called and ordained servant of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We sing together our intro at Psalm 104. Let us pray. We pray together a collect of the day. O oh God, on this day you once taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us in our day by the same Spirit to have a right understanding in all things evermore to rejoice in his holy consolation through jesus christ your son our lord who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit one god now and forever amen you may be seated for our readings Our Old Testament reading for this, the day of Pentecost, is from Genesis chapter 11. This is also the basis for today's sermon. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as people migrated from the east, they found the plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come! Let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens. And let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be dispersed over the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to the city and the tower which the children of man had built. And the Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language. And this is only the beginning of what they will do. 
and nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language so that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord dispersed them from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore, its name was called Babel, because the Lord confused the language of all the earth. And from there, the Lord dispersed them over the face of all the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Be to God. We speak responsively, our gradual. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. With the heart one believes and is justified. Our second reading is from Acts chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all gathered together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound, the multitude came together, and they were be bewildered, because each one of them was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native language? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phygeria and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians. We hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But my others mocking said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. For these men are not drunk, as you suppose since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was uttered through the prophet Joel. And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, even on my male servants and female servants. In those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the day of the Lord comes, the great and magnificent day. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand for our reading of the verse, our singing of the verse, and out of respect for the 
reading of the Holy Gospel. according to St. John, the 14th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and he will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring you to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And we recite our responsively our confession in the Pentecost statement of faith. I believe in one Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, Believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, or come to him. But the Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel, enlightened me with his gifts, sanctified and kept me in the true faith. In the same way, he calls, gathers, enlightens, and sanctifies the whole Christian church on earth and keeps it with Jesus Christ in the one true faith. In this Christian church, he daily and richly forgives all my sins and the sins of all believers. On the last day, he will raise me and all the dead and give eternal life to me and all believers in Christ. This is most certainly true. You may be seated as we sing our hymn of the day, hymn 503, O Day Full of Grace, hymn 503. 